सो हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेटर्स इन जावा सो लेट स्टार्ट सो जावा प्रोवाइड ए रिच ऑपरेटर एनवायरमेंट मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज ऑपरेटर कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर ग्रुप लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज अर्थमेटिक सेकेंड बिट वाइज थर्ड वन रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर एंड लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर so we will start from arithmetic operators so arithmetic operators can used in mathematical expression in the same way that they are used in algebra you can see the list first one is plus addition subtraction multiplication and division in arithmetic uh, operation the operands of the arithmetic operators must be of a numeric type like uh, in this statement you can see int a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and c three variables and c equal to a plus b so in this statement a and b both are operands and plus uh, addition it is a operator arithmetic operator You cannot use them on boolean types, but you can use them on char types. Since the char type in Java is essentially a subset of int. So let's see in practical session. the basic arithmetic operation addition subtraction multiplication and division all behave as you would expect for all numeric types like here and the unary minus operator here you can see minus d uh, negate its single operands and remember that when the division operator like here b division by 4 Uh, is applied on integer type there will be no fractional component attached to the result like here you can see the value of c is 1 because b 6 by 4 uh, there is no fractional part so it will 1 and you can see in the uh, uh, floating point arithmetic uh, i want to maximize it Uh, there is a c value of c is 1.5 and in arith integer arithmetic uh, matic the value of c is 1 because in floating point arithmetic uh, the fractional component attached to the result so uh, next it modulus operator the modulus operator this is a sign of modulus operator returns the remainder of a division operation so it can be applied to floating point types as well as integer types so let's see in practical session so in this program um, there are two variable um, x has type integer type and y has uh, double type so the value of x is 42 and y is 42.25 and i am using here uh, modulus operator here x modulus 10 the result of this statement first statement will be 2 because uh, the modulus operator return the remainder of division operation second statement y modulus 10 because y the value of y is 42.25 the remainder of this division 
2.25 so the result of the second statement will be 2.25 so let's run this program so this is the output and uh, x mode 10 2 and y mode modulus 10 is 2.25 because modulus operator turn the remainder part of division operation java provides special operators that can be used to combine an arithmetic operation with an assignment so in the java you can rewrite this statement like here a equal to a plus 4 a plus equal to 4 so compound assignment operator this is compound assignment operator both statements perform the same action they increase the value of a by 4 so let's see in practical session so in this program you can see int a b c three variables a value is one and b has two and c has three uh, and here we are using compound assignment operator like plus equal to five like the value of a is one one plus equal to five like value of a will be six and here j b p multiplication uh, equal to five means the value of b like here is two two uh, multiply by four uh, 8 the value of b will be 8 here and so in, in this statement the value of a is 6 and b is 8 so uh, 6 8 into 6 48 plus the value of c is 3 48 plus 3 51 so in this statement the value of c will be 51 after that c uh, modulus equal to 6 means the remainder part will be signed to C like uh, 51 division by 6 the remainder is 3 so the value of C here is 3 so let's uh, check the value output of this program let's run it so you can see the value of A is 6 B is 8 and C is 3 so this is the increment and decrement operator the plus plus and the minus minus are java's increment and decrement operators the increment operators increases it is operand by one the decrement operator decreases it is operand by one these operators are unique in that they are, can be appear both in post fix form and pre fix form so this is the post fix form like uh, in post fix form they follow the operand and in pre fix form uh, where they precede the operand in the, this is the pre fix form this is the post fix form ok so here you can see in the slide x equal to 10 and y equal to plus plus x this is the increment operator uh, prefix increment operator so in this case y is set to 11 as you would expect because the increment occurs occurs before x is assigned to y so in this case x uh, equal to 10 and y equal to x plus plus this is the post fix increment so first the value of x is obtained before the increment operator is executed so the value of y is 10 in this case the value of y is 11 in this case this is the case where prefix increment this is the post fix increment of course in the both cases x is set to 11 so in this program uh, again a b c three variables and here in this statement c equal to plus plus b so c is set to 3 as because the increment occurs before b is assigned to c okay the value of b is 2 plus plus means b uh, 2 plus 1 3 3 value assigned to c okay and in this statement the value of a is obtained before the increment operator is executed so the value of 
D is 1. In this statement, C++ means the value of C will be 4. So let's check the output. Let's run it. So you can see A equal to 2, B equal to 3 and C equal to 4 and D equal to 1. Hello everyone. Last lecture arrays in Java I had asked a question can you change the size of the array once you define it the answer is you know you can't change the size of the array once you define it so today's question is what does mean in Java what does this symbol mean in Java so please give the answer in comment section Otherwise, I will give answer in next video. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, see you in the next video.